Hey guys, how you doing, man? This is Carbon Builds, and today we're going to build this Omen Accelerator RTX 580. We're gonna put that in here, man. And we're gonna see how fast can it get my Mac. You know, I got this 2013 MacBook Pro sitting over here. And um, let's get to installing. So uh, first thing first is um, I'm gonna need a screwdriver. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pause the video real quick, grab a screwdriver, come back. All right guys, so I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this uh, video card in here. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Oh yeah, this is plenty of room, man. All right, I heard that click, man. You know, once we hear that click, that means it's sitting in there, right? right? All right. So all I gotta do is screw this. This little hole right here drives all the way down to this little red screw. Red screw. Right. I'm go ahead and plug this power wire in. So it's an eight pin connector as you can see. This is a six plus two, which is eight as well. Like that, right? Boom, there you go. So that's good. And then for my SSD card, I'm not gonna put anything in right now because I don't have an SSD card yet, but that's going to be later on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get everything perfectly secure. And then we're gonna test this out. Oh yeah, one other thing. So because I have a Thunderbolt 2 Mac, I'm going to need this Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. So how this goes is the top is a Thunderbolt 3, the bottom is a Thunderbolt 2. You can connect this into any Thunderbolt 3 device. The Thunderbolt 2 cord connects to the bottom, right? And you can put it vice versa, right? So if you have a Thunderbolt 3 Mac, but a Thunderbolt 2 eGPU, it will work and vice versa, right? So this is what you def and honestly the only one that works is this uh mac edition one so it has to be for mac i'm not sure if there is any other cord that works for it but i know for a fact that a lot of people are saying that this would definitely work so we'll see so here you go guys this is the benchmark from unigen heaven the score came up to a 22.8 for the frames per second, but this is at the highest resolution, the highest settings. I'm gonna show you the 1080 next. A little bit of benchmarking. And then the score is 66.3 frames per second, guys. So do not mind the different platforms. I do have dual boot Mac and Windows, so that's why you see two different uh, platforms. But as you can see, the 1080 is not bad. So, if you guys like what you've seen today, just like, subscribe my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.